My name is Cody and I'm with the console team at HashiCorp and I'm here to take you through applying access controls to HashiCorp console service on Microsoft Azure. Before we get started, what are console access control lists? Console ACLs allow you to apply a policy-driven approach to access to aspects of console. Everything from user interface interactions, CLI, API, service registrations, and even access to the key value store can all be controlled through access control lists. We create policies and then attach tokens to those policies in order to grant us access to the platform in a secured way. In this video, we're going to go through creating some of these tokens. We create these statically and store these within the platform, but there's a better way to do this using HashiCorp Vault. Using the Vault Secrets Engine, we can dynamically generate console ACLs for use within the platform. We can use Vault to drive a more secure process around how we create these access control list tokens. We'll cover how we can accomplish this in future videos. HashiCorp Learn provides some great content around getting started with bootstrapping the ACL system. Bootstrapping the ACL system is when you bring it up for the first time and get it started with a master token that you can use to further administrate the system. The learn guides for this are great. We're not going to cover the bootstrapping process in this video, but definitely take a look at those. They're going to help you get started really quickly. Additionally, the newest version of the console Helm chart for Kubernetes handles the bootstrapping for you. There's a script inside the repository that you can run that will interact directly with HashiCorp console service on Azure to configure it fully for bootstrap tokens so you can then go in and continue to manage it. Let's jump in and take a look how we can extend the tokens in HashiCorp console service. We start off in console. You can see currently I have no services registered in the default console service. If I go over to nodes, only my HCS server nodes have been registered. If I click on ACL, I'm already authenticated into the ACL system. If you see a login prompt, make sure you provide the bootstrap token that you generated when you ran through the HashiCorp Learn Guide. In order to start registering services and allowing nodes to register as well, we need to create a couple of ACL tokens to provide them with access to do this. We'll start off in the Policies tab and we'll create a new policy. We have two servers that we're going to register today, HCS Web 01 and HCS API 01. Let's go ahead and start off with the node registration policy. We'll go ahead and name this HCS Web 01 registration. We'll use the node and the name of the node and we'll give it a policy of right. Since node registration also requires that nodes that register are able to read services, we have to provide ability to read as well. By not filling in anything within the quotes, we say that we can read all services and we'll give it a policy of read. We'll go ahead and copy this since we're going to use it again in a moment and we'll create another entry. We'll call this policy HCS API 01 registration and we'll paste in our previous policy. We'll update it to be HCS API 01 for write and leave the previous read policy. We now have our two node policies for registration set. Let's go ahead and create their tokens. We'll go to the tokens tab. We'll select create token. We'll apply our previous policy for HCS Web 01. We'll save our token. We'll now go into this token. We can copy it. We can use this little eyeball to expose the token if we wanted to see it. And we'll switch into our command line. From our command line, we'll edit our console configuration file. And we'll add our agent token here. Your configuration by default might be missing this field. So just make sure that you add a tokens field named agent with the token that you created previously. We'll write that file out and we'll start our service. If we switch back into console now and go to our nodes view, we can see that our server has registered successfully. 
Now we'll go and retrieve our token for our HCS API 01. Again, we'll create a token. We'll apply our API to your policy. Copy our token file. Edit our console configuration file. Replace our token yet again. And start our service and check our nodes and see that we've now registered both of our new servers. If we switch into our services view, we can see that we have no services registered yet. Services are handled via a different ACL policy, and we need to generate tokens for those as well and add those to the service registration file locally on our systems, or include that token in any API calls that would be registering those services. Let's head back into the ACL screen and we'll create a policy for registering our web application. We'll go HES Web 01 app. We'll call the services ACLs. We'll add Nginx with a policy of write. Next, since the HCS Web 01 is going to participate in the service mesh, we need to provide an ACL for the sidecar proxy to run as well. So we'll go service nginx sidecar proxy policy of write, and we'll close that up. Service registration also requires permission to be able to read all services and read all nodes. So we'll add those policies in as well. We can save and go ahead and move on to creating our API service registration as well. HCS API 01 app. The API is not going to participate in a service mesh initially, so we'll go ahead and register that as just a standard application. Service API, again with the policy of write, and services also require the ability to read other services. We'll save that and we can go and generate our tokens. We'll create a new token. Application registration. We'll grab our web01. We'll save. We'll go ahead and copy our token and move back into the CLI. We're going to edit our Nginx file, and we're going to add a token option to it. We'll write that file out, and we'll also edit our service for our Envoy to include the token there as well. Now with our files updated, we'll go ahead and start our services back up. And if we switch back into the UI, we'll see our services have registered successfully and we're passing initial health checks. We'll go ahead and quickly make these same changes for our API service. We'll go back into the ACL and create our token for our API tier. Grab an existing policy, our API app, Save, copy our token, we'll edit our API tier service definition, we'll add our token, write the file, and start the service. When we switch back into the user interface and go to services now, we can see that our API is successfully registered. We've now completed the goals of this video and showing you how you can create policies that allow you to register nodes and register applications in a totally secure way. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll start to talk about roles and how you can up-level the way you scale these policies to match larger environments and more complex configurations. Thanks a lot for taking the time and hope you have a good day.